my Leo, happy new year. Here's your general reading for Leo sun, moon and ascendant. Well, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and holiday season. I hope it was so good that you have to tell people what happened at Christmas 2017 stays at Christmas 2017 because, oh my God, Leo, did you deserve a bit of fun. The last, oh wow, 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 I'm shuffling the cards expecting one to come out at a time and I have bunches of cards and even fell on the floor. Hold on, I'm just, you're, you're very keen, Leo, to get this story rolling, so just let me get this card and I'll come back. Wow, wow, the energy, it's great. It's, it's great energy because you guys have had such a tough two and a half years. You have had Saturn, the, the tough master, in your fifth house, which is naturally ruled by Leo and the Sun. And he came in and he said, you guys are out of control. You're not taking your life seriously enough. Uh, so I need to come in and I need to fix this. So he stopped you from partying, he stopped you from having any fun, you had no creative expression, everything was just so serious. And it was so on Leo, because that's what Saturn did. He came in and said, Leo, basically you've forgotten how to Leo. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to teach you the hard way how to be Leo again. Now. I will say this, for some Leos, the last two and a half years have been super hard because it was in your fifth house. It might have been very physical, very, very physically real. Now, Leo rules the heart, the chest, the upper back and the spine. Some of you may have had real physical difficulties in that area and that must have been a huge challenge. and. A very 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 painful and dark period for you and Leo I'm sorry you experienced that and I'll say another thing if you feel that people weren't there for you or, or not many people were there to help you through that difficult period it's probably because Leo is so good at putting on the brave face and the big beaming sunshine smile and not letting people see how much they're hurting. So if we weren't there for you, Leo, then I'm sorry, we're sorry. We didn't really know exactly what you were going through, but we get it now, we get it now. But the good news is Saturn has left the fifth house. So all those problems from the last two and a half years are disappearing from now. And January sees Saturn moving into the sixth house for you, which is all about streamlining, restructuring your life, taking every task, your day-to-day -day tasks, and changing them completely so that they suit you better, so that your life is easier, and also so that you learn to get your Leo mojo back. And I'll say, there's a song that's coming to my mind as, as I'm reading this here or, or talking about this and it's um, we don't need another hero we don't need to know the way home sorry I don't, don't know what I was doing that for that's ridiculous but so so was me singing that but the point was that for many years Leo you've been looking for a hero and I think the last two and a half years have shown you that the hero is you. There's a hero if you look inside yourself. Let's not do that. First card. Ace of Pentacles, Leo. Nice first card. The Magician. Very good. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Cups. The Seven of Cups. death. Now don't get all crazy when you see death. It's not scary. It's not what you think it means. We'll talk about this in a moment. I'm going to just keep shuffling more cards and then we'll have a look at them, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, 
This for me is the hero card. And what were we just talking about? You, baby, being the hero. The four of pentacles. So just a, one or two more cards and then we'll have a real look at what's going on. What's going on for the luscious and lovely Leos? I think there's a whole lot going on. Oh, there's two cards. I thought it was just one. The Wheel of Fortune. Karma. Karma, 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 karma. Why am I singing? Why am I si Why am I singing? I think it's because Leo has spent so much time in the last two and a half years having no joy that now, this January, it's like, yes! Bring out the dancers, bring on the entertainment. I need my best disco gear. I need my sparkly boots. I need my crown to get back on because now it's time to party again, to sing, to dance, to move, to express. We have the six of cups. Two more cards, two more cards, and then we'll see what's in the final outcome. I'm kind of excited for you, Leo. Oh, I like it. The Two of Cups. Love it. Love is in the air. I'm becoming like a jukebox here. Just the kind of jukebox that you wouldn't actually put money into. Or you'd look for a refund. Yes, yes, yes. Your final outcome. It's the sun, baby. It's you. It's you. It's you. The sun. Your final outcome. I love this. I love this. Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. I really have to stop this singing. Okay, let's move it down and see what's going on. We can see the... I can see clear... Oh, please, stop singing. Right, first card, we have the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new gift from the heavens. Look at that lovely hand coming in from the heavens over the beautiful garden. Here is your gift. Here is your payment for all the shit you had to put up with in the last two and a half years. Your gift is a brand new meaning to your life. A brand new purpose and this is reinforced by the magician Mercury Hermes who is the alchemist he takes all the elements of your life he melts them down like an alchemist and he recreates something new something better in this cup the cup is the true blood the real deal baby it's the holy grail all that nonsense that you had to endure over the last two and a half years, you've been given a brand new gift from the gods to start a new life, but not just in a stupid kind of, oh, it's time to start a new life. No, really, a brand new life as a person that you'll hardly recognize. And it begins this January, baby. Leo, this is huge. This is not something that just happens randomly. This requires years and years and years of alchemy to bring it to this point that is now happening for you in January. And all the things that you went to, you might think Saturn was really tough and mean on you, but essentially what he did, he came in and he destroyed all the unnecessary crap in your life so that you could make this brand new beginning with real purpose and real meaning to your life. Boom! This is the rebirth. It's, it's the new you. It's you, the upgrade. The Leo upgrade. I like that. What else have we got going on? We're going to talk about this, Leo. This is the card of deceit, betrayal, all the ugly, nasty things that people do to us. People who turn our backs on us when we need them the most. People who 
really do us no good. People, the type of people we don't want in our life. You've got them in your life, Leo, and they're going. What January is going to bring is real clarity for you. You're going to say, hold on a minute, these people are liars. These people, they really, they don't have my back. They weren't there for me. They, they're snakes and they've got to go because this situation, I just, it, it's not worth it anymore. It's not worth all the lies and deceit. I'm out of here. And that's you. That's you at your back to this situation. You saying to somebody, hey, listen, all that crap you've put me through, all the lies and cheating, all the twists and turns with your clever words and your ability to manipulate, blah, 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 all the things that you did. I'm turning my back on you, bitch. Yep. Leo's walking away and Leo is saying, why did I put up with all of this? Why did I do it? It's going to take a little bit of reflecting uh, upon this situation. There is a full moon on the 1st of January, a time when you're going to be making your resolutions and you're going to be traveling very much inside yourself. And you're going to be going down deep into your psyche and asking yourself, what was that all about? Why did I put up with that nonsense? Why did I put up with the lies? I'm turning my back on that now and I'm moving on. Good for you, Leo. Don't ever let anybody lie to you. You're too precious for that. Death, reinforcing two things. It's reinforcing what we spoke about here. You have a new life, a rebirth, but for something to be reborn, first it has to die. And there will be a period of mourning for your past life. You actually physically have to let go of so much. Maybe the people that you once knew, the, the home you once lived in, the area, maybe you have to move away from everything you once knew just to let it die. You have to lose contact with certain people, you have to let go of your job, you have to start all over again, but first you must die. And people see this as a terribly negative card, but it's not true. The real esoteric meaning of the death card is the moment of extreme inertia, let me say, the moment of extreme implosion before the big bang, before it shoots back up and recreates a brand new universe. So that's what he does. The moment is that moment where everything gets pulled right in before it goes boom, baby. So it is going to be hard to, to experience that it's going to feel like a lot of pressure, but it's worth it. It's worth it because once the old version of you, it, once you're allowed to surrender that, once you decide to let all that be in the past, suddenly everything opens up for you, new possibilities. You couldn't have believed that there were so many people who admired you, who thought you were all that and more you thought because you put up with this bullshit for so long the lies the deceit the the hurt you kind of painted yourself into a corner where you thought that's all i deserve i don't deserve true love i don't deserve anything better than that but that's a lie because now in your new life you'll begin to see all the possibilities you are now beginning to go, look at this guy. He's going, whoa, 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 what? This is possible? I can have this? And in January, once you relax, take a little bit of time to count your blessings, to say thank you to your old life for what I had given you, but letting go of it at the same time, once you do that, boom, suddenly all this opens and you will just be so excited for your future. I'm so happy for you, Leo. And here we are. The hero card. Leo, you are the hero. You may forget watching movies or watching those stories about how people did this and did that, blah, 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 blah. You are the new hero. 
It's you. You're the one that gets to tell the hero story now. And I love that. Well done. Congratulations. Having said that, I'm also going to talk about this, which is sometimes there's a little bit of fear. You know you're a hero, but at times you'll say to yourself, I better not get too carried away with this hero business. I need to keep myself grounded. I don't want to get too big for my boots. I don't want to lose the run of myself. I'm going to just play it cool, kind of calm down. I'm going to not kind of try to expand on this too much. And why? Because when you get the glimpse of this new happiness that's coming your way, there's a habit which you had to learn over the last couple of years of holding on tightly to little triumphs. And so it gets a bit tight and a bit squeezed. And this card is saying, no, please don't do that, baby. Don't get a little triumph and go, oh, oh, oh I better hold on to this because there's no more. That's, that's what you'd call kind of a poverty consciousness. We need you to let go of poverty consciousness now, baby because you have allowed yourself to get stuck in poverty. Now, Leo, the queen and the king, the royal bloods, allowing themselves to be stuck in poverty consciousness? That doesn't work anymore for you. No, no, no. We're not having that. And why not? The Wheel of Fortune, Karma. Saturn is speaking very strongly in this reading. He really is. He's come in here to tell you that you have played out about 10 lifetimes of karma in the last couple of years. Your debt has been so repaid that you can be born again a hundred times and never have to experience the type of hardships that you've experienced in the last couple of years. Saturn has squeezed you so tightly and like the true royal that you are, Leo, you won. And Saturn says, well done, well done, congratulations, you've won. And it's not going to go unnoticed. The rest of your life begins this January and it's going to be to the moon. To the moon, well actually for you, to the sun and through the sun and beyond. To any other dimension, any universe that you want to go, you're going to shine brighter than the sun. Having said that, the karma is asking you, don't take baggage with you baby. Don't take the things of the past. It's, it's just saying, please, there will be moments where you'll look back in your past and say, oh, well, it wasn't all bad. There were happy memories. There were good things. I had so much fun. I had so many great times. Yeah, you did. You did. But you've almost, you've almost, well, well, really, you've died and almost been reincarnated. You've lived two lives in one life. So it's asking you not to take even the good things of your past. Don't try to take them into the future with you because it's a brand new clean life. It's a clean slate. And, and you've got to go without remembering the past, both good and bad. People don't get this in their lives, Leo. You've been really blessed. This is not something that happens. It's all for you. So let the past disappear quietly and let the new begin, okay? And here we have it at the end. Now, at the end of January on the 31st, we've got a lunar eclipse in Leo. So you're going to be asking yourself very serious questions about your identity. Who are you? Now that I'm born again, that I've died and born again, who the hell am I, you know? And who do, who do I present to the world? What is my image? What is my face that, that I put out there? And how do I begin explaining to people that I'm a brand new person? Well, firstly, you've got to love yourself. You've got to love yourself first and foremost. 
and under the blessing of the lion, the sun, you've got to join together with your own self. God, I don't want to sound too deep here, but basically you've got to pull all aspects of yourself together and love yourself first from within. And then once you do that, once you love yourself, then other people will love you. Then you'll start developing the, the rest of it. The rest will come, Leo. But first, love yourself. And here's the thing. When you love yourself, you are going to find somebody who loves you back. This is a soulmate waiting for you, Leo. I, 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 these cards are extra special. These, these are not just average cards. It's extra special. And then you've got the sun. Yay! Celebrations, parties. It's all about you giving yourself a whole new value. Leo's got brand new standards and they are so excellent. They are so high quality that the world is going to have to just stop and say, whoa, 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 whoa what happened here? Where did this come from? Leo's are, are totally different. They don't behave like they used to. They're full of love and they're attracting love. They're love magnets. And I like that. I like that Leo is going to be a love magnet. But you always wear Leo. It's just you had to get rid of all the extra baggage, even if it was designer baggage. You've got to throw that out, throw it away, because now you're starting again with the blessings of the sun and the karma and the, I just want, you know, I just want to take all these cards and just say, yes, 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 you won, baby. If there is a life lottery after the crap that you've been putting up with for years, after the real hardship that you've put up with in the last two and a half years, Leo, you've won the Celestial Lottery. Now go party like only a Leo can. Baby, a huge kiss from me to you. I'm so happy for you and enjoy every minute. That's it, Leo. I hope you like this reading. I, I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't, but if you liked it, subscribe. Come back next month for more and see you next time.